Hi everybody, it's Miss Carly from the Sandusky Library. I am back with a new fall fun craft for this week. This week's fall fun craft are these little clothespin owl buddies. So we're using these um, clothespins that they aren't the kind that you squeeze to open, although I think you could probably make these out of those as well. Um, I have a limited number of these craft kits available if you didn't already pick one up, but um, otherwise you could use your own from, you know, maybe you have some around your house. Um, there were two different shapes that we had in our craft supply. You can see this one is a little more square and it did work really well um, to kind of put the some wings and things on the side and the body was really similar to the shape and the head. So this one worked really, really well. I'm gonna experiment with this one in just a minute to see how this shape works. Here is a picture of some other finished Owl Buddies and you can see that um, they used a lot of different patterns. This one, the wing, she took it really far down on the side and you know, this one has squares in the middle. This one kind of has little like hearts and. So we're going to try this and see how the second one turns out. Um, I'll provide a link to this so you can take a look at it more closely. Um, the first one that I made, I just used, these are really, really small. I was a little surprised how tiny they were once I actually started trying to draw. So for this one, I used thin Crayola markers and they worked really well in terms of size. But the one thing that I noticed is, um, they did smear a little bit, so I did the black first, and when I started coloring over the top, it did smear a little bit. So I think you, your best bet if you have them would be thin Sharpies, which I have regular Sharpies, so we're gonna give that a try and see if I'm able to do um, the design small enough using regular Sharpies. Um, the other thing you could probably do is seal these somehow, but that would only be if you were um, maybe gonna put them outside. In this tutorial, they put them inside like in a flower pot as like a little decoration. I think these would be super cute though to tie on holiday presents or a birthday gift. And so um, I'm gonna give it a try, another one, and we'll see how this next one turns out. All right, so I'm gonna give this a try. You can see a little bit more of the detail on this one. Um, did the eyes, the beak, a little bit of texturing on the body and then put some wings on the side and the little feet there. And um, this one, you can see there's different kinds of eyes that they drew. Um, we're gonna see how these Sharpies work. They are nice Sharpies, but they are not the skinny ones. So I'm gonna give this a go and see how it turns out. So I took some time, added some of the little patterns, and now I'm going to put some color on it. I do think this is workable with the thicker Sharpies. It's a little harder, but um, I feel like the color is obviously not smearing near as much. You could really, if you wanted to, you could even extend your patterns down the sides. You wouldn't be limited just to the very, very top. Although, like I said, this one, um, they put them into a plant, like a little pot, so you would only want to do your details that far down. Let's see here, put some purple on the wings. Got 
And then I think I will add some orange here to the center. And there he is. He's basically done. So I have my two little owls there. And that was a fun little craft. Like I said, I think it would be really cute if you put these on top of a package or if you know someone that likes plants. These would be really cute um, with um, succulents like little cactus inside or if you have um, herbs or anything on a windowsill. So Leave me a comment, let me know if you make these, and show me a picture of how yours turned out. All right, hope to see you again next week for our next Fall Fun Craft. Have a great day. Goodbye.